ولو بسط الله الرزق لعباده لبغوا في الأرض ولكن ينزل بقدر ما يشاء إنه بعباده خبير بصير Allah Azza wa Jal says, if we had opened up the doors of our rizq, if we had given our sustenance to our servants, fil ard, they would have gone beyond the measure. They would have gone to a level of haram. They would have done something that they should not do. Walakin yunazzilu bi qadarim ma yasha. Instead, Allah reveals with his qadr as much as he wants to whomever he pleases. Now this verse tells us a very interesting reality. Allah gives those whom He loves just enough for them to not go beyond the bounds. Allah is saying, I know how much you're capable of. And if I were to give you everything, then you would go beyond what is halal, what is permissible for you. And this same sentiment is demonstrated in the seerah of the Prophet wasallam In a hadith in Sahih Bukhari, it is narrated that the Prophet was giving someone uh, money or he was giving a group of people money. One of the Sahaba said, O Messenger of Allah, why don't you give so and so? For wallahi, I think he's a mu'min, he's a good guy, give it to him. And the Prophet ignored him and he kept on giving to other people. Second time the Sahabi said, Ya Rasulullah, give to him, for wallahi, I think he's a mu'min. And he ignored him for a second time. A third time he ignored him and then our Prophet turned and said to him, O so and so, sometimes I give money to people and I don't give to those whom I love more, i.e. the beloved I don't give to, out of a fear that that money will be a temptation that will drag them into Jahannam. In other words, our Prophet knows the people. And he is saying, what you're saying about this man might be right, he's a mu'min, he's a good guy. But he doesn't have that type of, if you like, patience with money. That he might do something that is not appropriate with that money. And therefore, dear brothers and sisters, what we learn from this ayah and from this hadith is very simple. And that is, what we do not have, and we tried to get it, we didn't get it, we should be content that Allah has a plan, that Allah knows how much He's giving. Allah reveals with His qadr as much as He pleases that person. In the end of the same surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the same fact, but this time about children. Allah says in the Quran, He is the one who blesses with children. To some He gives all daughters. To some He gives all men, all boys. And some families they have boys and girls. And some people have no children. This is the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah knows who to give what to. And Allah knows how much to give. And Allah knows who to test people with. And therefore the believer who believes in Qadr, one of the main benefits of believing in Qadr is that you feel a contentment of the heart. Whatever has happened has happened because of Qadr. As I said many times, Qadr is used to calm down and to find release from a calamity. And Qadr is not used to justify a sin. Qadr is used to find peace in whatever Allah has decreed. You didn't get the job, Qadr Allah. You didn't make the million that you were looking to get from the business, Qaddar Allah. You didn't have this, you didn't get that. You tried, you made dua to Allah, you didn't get it. Now the point is you have to try. If you didn't try, then that's your problem. But you have to try, you want the job, you want the business, you want to get married, you try. If it doesn't happen, that's when we say Qaddar Allah.